First step is going to be to remove the little splash shield on the tunnel brace. You can remove the entire brace itself. That will help you get the exhaust lower, but we're just going to remove the shield for it because it's going to allow us to get at the rest of the splash shields better. Then we're going to remove the exhaust clamps and kind of let the exhaust hang down. Next, we'll remove all the fasteners holding the heat shield that's covering up the drive shaft carrier, and then we'll work the heat shield out of there. Next, we're going to unbolt the OEM carrier, and then we're going to let it hang down and rotate it to the side so that we can make a cut kind of on the top side of it. Flip the carrier over the other way, we'll make a cut on the other side. In this case, once we had both cuts done, the OEM carrier just kind of fell away, at least the lower part of it. There was still a small frame around the bearing. So the next step is going to be to take a razor blade in there and separate that frame from the bearing itself by cutting all the rubber in the middle. Take your razor blade and trim away the center rib until you're left with just the base layer of rubber over the bearing. Now we're going to secure the new carrier to the drive shaft. Take the top half, place it over the top with the bushing already installed, then bring the bottom half up to meet it. Attach the two together with the Allen wrench. As you're tightening up the bolts, make sure to switch from left to right so that the bolts don't bind in the holes. Place an isolation damper over each foot. Place a bolt with the fender washer up through each foot. and place your small washers coming down from the top on each foot. Then bolt each foot up to the body of the car.